Two years on the job, and Wayne Tinkle has led eight and two starts both seasons with the Oregon State Beavers. Maybe their signature win on the non-conference, 76-71 over Tulsa. Certainly their signature win. Tough opponent, the toughest opponent they played at home so far, although this is somewhat of a neutral environment. They got out, and they were running, and that's something Wayne Tinkle was afraid of coming into the game. He knew transition defense would be a premium, but when you have GP2, shooting the ball confidently, knocking down jump shots. Every time defenders go underneath the screen, he's raising up and knocking it down. You have a chance. But again, Tulsa, it was like a boxing match. You know, Tulsa round one, Oregon State round two, Tulsa round three and round four because they were just giving it to Oregon State in the interior. And then Oregon State came with the final knockout in that second half. The way they started it out so aggressively, Olaf Shoftenar said it's something they talked about in the locker room is staying together, not giving up, believing in one another. And look at that pass from Gary Payton second to Langston Morris Walker. You have to love it. If you're a senior, you're playing in this environment, your last time in the Motor Center and going back to Olaf Shopsonar. He's been through a lot. He's been asked to diversify his game, not shoot so many three-point shots. I bet they weren't asking him that tonight. He hit three of four from distance. Morris Walker hit three of four from distance. And GP2 had 19.7 rebounds and six assists. After a sluggish first half offensively, the Beavs found a solution and they found an eighth victory. 76-71, they finished the non-conference with Quinnipiac on Monday before 13 days off to prepare for the Civil War. Beavers in Portland at the Moda Center, winners over Tulsa.